hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Home Reviews, and it is freezing in here. You can probably see my breath. I can see it. It is so cold. We don't have a heater in the garage gym yet. Sorry guys. Regardless, we have something to bring to you today because we care for you. We've done this one before, but there's new options. And so anytime there's new options, people ask like, hey, how does this one compare to your previous top pick in that sort of thing? So we've brought in every single barbell collar that is worth looking at from both the extremely cheap that we'd find on Amazon, like some of these, some of these, to the very expensive, some that are made out of complete stainless steel, and many other options. So today, I wanna to tell you, which is the best barbell collar for most people? Why would you use a barbell collar? I think it's pretty obvious you don't wanna hurt yourself. If you're lifting in your garage alone or just your home alone, then you should be using barbell collars. You use them in commercial gyms when you're lifting alone. You should definitely use it in your home while you're alone. I mean, you don't wanna get hurt. I don't think collars necessarily are gonna prevent you from getting hurt, but they are gonna prevent some things from happening that could cause you to get hurt. So I know there's people that like benching without collars because then if the weight falls off, they can get it off them. Completely understand that. And I do think there are ways that you can be safe without collars, and that includes safety spotter arms. I think those are honestly more important than collars, but I do think collars have a place. And so pretty much every time I'm lifting, I'm using collars, not just because I wanna be safe, but also because I want the weight to stay against this sleeve collar that's on the barbell. And you shouldn't just buy the cheapest barbell collars that are out there, which are like these, spring collars. Now these can work, and if this is all you got, no problem, but the reason that these aren't as good as clamps is because they don't hold as much. So if you're doing heavy deads and you're dropping them, if you're doing Olympic weightlifting, that sort of thing, you want something that's gonna hold the weight up against it even if you're dropping and bouncing the bar. So for these, we've done a few different tests. One is I've just used them in normal use. In addition to that, we've done what we call the coop test. We've done it on every single collar that's out here. Basically where I put the bar upside down, I put weight on it, uh, I think I put a 55, a 35, and a 25, stood on top of it, jumped on it, and basically saw how well it held. That's not like the most definitive test and real world usage test. I think dropping it overhead and things like that and just seeing how it shifts is a good one, but it is an extreme test to tell us their holding capacity. Without further ado, what I wanna get into is the best barbell collars for different categories, from just my top pick, to the money is no object option, to the budget option to the ultra budget option and a few in between. All right, before I give you my top pick, I wanna start with just the ultra budget pick. The cheapest clamp collar that I'd recommend our ultra budget pick are two options actually. And the reason there's two options is because they're both pretty good, they're kinda of similar, and they're both similarly priced. One is the Clout Fitness collar. These have over 16,000 reviews on Amazon. They're rated at 4.7 out of five stars. And I'm not saying I trust Amazon reviews, but to have that volume of reviews with that high of a star rating is pretty dang good. And we tested these. I've had these for over two years now. They're not the collar that I use every day, but we have had them at the gym that I own and people have been using them and they still hold up today. They're not the greatest collar. They do have a lifetime warranty, but they're only 15 bucks and they hold pretty well. The other one I'd recommend looking at is the Lockjaw Hex collar. In my opinion, if I was gonna choose between these two, I would choose this one. I think it holds better over the long term. I think initially they're pretty similar, but after owning both of them for a while, I can tell you that this one has held up better to holding than this one has. So for 15 bucks, like if you're just looking for the absolute cheapest collar that I recommend, I would suggest the Lockjaw Hex collar. They work well, any barbell, they hold, and they're dang cheap. All right, so that's the older budget pick, but if you're looking for the collar that I'd recommend for most people after using all of these collars, my pick hasn't changed since last year. These are the Rogue USA Olympic collars. These are really the collar that is like the go-to collar for garage gyms. Ever since we did our review, I have gotten barrage from people saying, thank you for recommending these. I absolutely love them. Like I have heard from hardly anybody a complaint about this recommendation, which isn't always the case because some people have different usage, but for a collar, people use them in pretty much the same way and these just work extremely well. 
One is they're priced somewhat on a value basis. This isn't the most expensive collar at around 50 bucks made in the USA out of aluminum with a solid handle, like fits, the tolerances are extremely nice. This one is actually the best holding collar of all the ones that I've got. When we put these on into the coupe collar test, I jumped on them as hard as I could multiple times and they didn't budge at all. It doesn't matter if you do Olympic weightlifting, bodybuilding, just general strength training, whatever, CrossFit, I'd recommend these. Now there are other options from Rogue. There's these, which these are an Oso collar, very similar design, but these have magnets, which is really cool. If you want a more expensive version with magnets, they make this with magnets too. There's this Oso collar design, which again is another Rogue design, but for most people, the design I'd recommend that is this design from Rogue, definitely the USA Olympic collars. It's the best value. They all have the same function. It has a thicker lever, easier to operate with one hand. They're just much better. So if you're looking for a collar, you're like, Coop, just tell me which one to get, get this one. Now, if you don't want an aluminum collar, for whatever reason, you don't like those. Like I can understand there's some people that just have other specifications. There is a cheaper option that's slightly cheaper that I'd say is like my runner up pick. It's not quite as good as those, but it is one that I still like and that's the Lockjaw Pros. They're around 42 bucks. This is the older version. These are the H2 2.0 collars from Rogue. I've used these for a long time. They worked very well, but these ones are an upgraded, much better version. They are a somewhat heavy collar. They're big and somewhat bulky. That's why I like these over these because they're just a lot wider. They're just a bigger collar. I don't like them as much as the others, but they are slightly cheaper and they are proven. People love Lockjaw. So I do recommend them if you don't like my other pick. All right, if you like creme de la gym, which means you like the best of the best, money is no object to you. You're just like, Coop, what's the absolute best ones? That's probably these. These are the Aleco Oppen collars. I have another pick I'm gonna give in addition to these for this category, just so you know. These are a great collar. I love using these from just a day-to-day -day standpoint. These are probably a collar I use most outside of the other collar I'm gonna mention. These are not the most durable collar. We've seen that. We jumped on them with the coupe test, ended up pulling this back. We did a full review on them. They are more pricey than all the other options. They don't hold significantly better than all the other options. It's just a very like comfortable, enjoyable use. They they're magnetized. They're just nice. I really like these collars. It's hard to describe. It's just the, something about the clicking, the design. These aren't without their issues though. Like these have problems. People are annoyed with some of the levers and like the rubber coming off. Like I get it, but I do really like them and I do recommend them if you're looking for a collar and money is no object. But there is a collar that is even more grand than those if you're just like, Coop, I've got a money burning a hole in my pocket and it hurts so bad I want to spend it. Well, these are probably them. If you're just like, I like the craziest thing that's out there, these are them. These are fully stainless steel and they're called the sick collar and they are sick. The way they work is they have these ball bearings kind of in the middle. When you're putting it on the bar, you simply press it on. It does not move at all because the ball bearings press into the sleeve. And then when you want to move it, you just pull back on this and it comes off. It is such a slick, easy operation, one-handed. These are the collars that I use the most. I use them even more than the Lakos. They weigh one pound pretty much exactly. They're almost calibrated. They are crazy expensive. Would I recommend them? Heck no. They're like 130, 150 bucks. I do want to speak on another collar that we get a lot of questions on. And I want to say this isn't like my top recommendation by any means. If you're using a lot of specialty bars, a lot of like different like diameter sleeves, these can work well. The way they work is this basically screw on here. And then there's this piece here that screws it against it. The problem is they don't hold like tremendously well because there's no friction. It's just this 3D printed plastic nylon piece with this metal that then goes up against the sleeve. There's just nothing really keeping it on. They do hold, but not tremendously well. I know a lot of people use these in Strongman. They're just okay and they're priced not the best. There are other options that I would recommend for a budget above these that I do want to mention. And those are the Oso oh Mighty Collar and the rope key collar. The Oso oh Mighty Collar, we've done the entire coupe test on as well. They work well and they're only 30 bucks. They're made out of the same aluminum as these. 
rather than having this slit in the middle, they're actually one complete piece. And then this comes down to tighten it. They're nice and they're very lightweight. They're very compact and they're only 30 bucks. So it's another good budget option. And then the other one is the rope key collar. They go by a bunch of different names because they sell them through dealers. They're made by a company called Solid Bar Fitness. The company I'd recommend buying them from is from Titan Fitness. They're called the Weight Bar Clamp from Titan Fitness. They have a similar open design as these. They go on and then the lever comes around. I get recommended those all the time. Like, Coop, why don't you review them? Coop, don't, why don't you review them? I don't have them in house right now, but just so you know, I have used them. I use them at Titan's place and they're a good collar. They're 50 bucks. I'd say they're a budget option because they often have sales. I wouldn't recommend them over a ton of these, but they are a good collar. That is every collar in existence. If there's a collar that I haven't reviewed on here, haven't talked about, let me know in the comments below. We'll make sure we bring it in just like we always do. Let us know which collars you like the best. I'm sure many of you would agree with me. I remember it happened last time. These things are damn good. Okay, it's Coop from Garage Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace.